going to be a good day. All right. So here we are at the Reading Motorcycle Club for the AMCA swap meet. Uh, the Reading Motorcycle Club, that's not a, a, a gang. It's not a 1% club. I think it's uh, probably the oldest uh, AMA National Motorcycle Club in the country. I used to come here years ago. This was a dirt drag strip, but it's paved now and they're having uh, drag races tonight. People are camping here both for that and uh, looks like some guys from AMA are here. Uh, I bet this place is going to be hopping tonight. Man, we got some swap meet tables. Oh boy. So we dropped off our Zundap. That's it here. This is going to the Zundap pool. KS601. EL. Those two shock absorbers. Apparently that's what makes it special. Wrong tail light. It's going to Michigan. We're going to meet up with him. Anytime you see a light blue and dark blue Indian like this, you know it was one of Auto Link's bikes. Auto Link had a used to wheel and deal in used Indians, and then he opened the Triumph dealership in Coopersburg. So I'm, I'm betting that's one of his old bikes. So, oh, cool. I'm that full T-shirt. All right. Here you go. <laughs> and your website is Zundapfool.com. And who was the original Zundap Fool again? That was James Marshall. Uh huh. And uh, I took it, I mean, I, I bu basically bought a lot of his bikes. Yeah. And uh, kind of uh, uh, a friend of mine said, Oh, you gotta take it over. You're the guy. I'm like, Okay. So I kind of got, we kind of did it together. And, yeah, okay. And, um, but my wife, she's a graphic designer, she reorganized the whole thing, and uh, it's just, uh, it's been a lot of fun because, I mean, we've been adding manuals for everybody. And they're just free access to anybody. They can download them and look at the. And so it's www.zundapfool.com? Yep. Okay. It is. Good, man. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. Take care. Very good. Oh, I can't wait to go to these swap meets. Even my hands are sweaty. Now, this is an early trail breaker. Like the Rokons I have back in my shop. But this is the early one, two wheel drive. I never had one of these. I never owned one of these. I like the wheels, so they don't get all clogged up with mud. I'm looking for a white truck with an orange trailer to pick up a Sportster, but boy, I may be looking at a lot of other stuff first. Now we're gonna do a quick run through and then I'm gonna have to spend more time searching for stuff. But I always do a quick run through just in case something jumps at me that I absolutely have to have.
but it would have been the water cooled taco. It would have yeah. had a water jacket on the cylinder head. So it would have been special. I don't know what they had to do to the frame to put that motor in. And I don't know where you're going to find a TSS motor. This was my first bike, but I had an orange one. And this probably is a 125. Yes. These were very strong. Is that your bike or is it for sale or is it a pit bike? How much is it? That's not bad. 2K. Yeah, it's got the original Pirellis. I, I rode mine back and forth to college, an hour each way. I might have to come back, but I gotta run through the whole show. Does it got any paper? Yep. <laughs> Too bad it's not orange, but I still might have to bite, huh? That's probably all the money. They're not. Desirable. They're made in Italy, but they were very strong, very reliable. I'm just going to go down here, loop here. CL125 Honda Trials, boy, that's nice. Every, about every five years, there's a drama. No price. And about every two years, there's a place to fall. truck, orange trailer, three bikes out front. I wonder which one he bought. I've been here before. I bet you it's that K model. I don't know. Good morning. I'm Dave the transport guy. You're Dave the transport guy. Yeah. All right. You found me. Hang on one second. Take your time. But uh, does well, it run and drive? It does. I mean, I'll start it for you and you can ride it over there. Yeah, I, I don't want to do something stupid with a bike that isn't mine, but we'll see. All right, this is Bruce Williams from Ohio with his, uh, I don't know what it is. What is it? 1913 NSU. 1913 NSU. What does TT special mean? It was I, I, TT Racer. I can't say that in German. How do you for, say that? For the Isle of Man. Special. Okay, there you go. For the Isle of Man. In what are 1913, these? they got fourth and seventh at the Isle of Man. What are these little glass fittings on the top of the cylinder? Primer pots. Oh, you squirt some gas in there when you start. Yeah. Works great. And how does it get its oiling? Uh, there's an oil pump on the top. Okay, like a JD. So, yeah, this is a hand pump. And then there's a drip feeder down here on the bottom of the tank. Uh, it's total loss. Yes. Like a JD. Yeah, no no recirculation this right. way. Very clean. All right, Bruce. It's getting all dusty. Third thousand dollars. Sixty-five. Okay, first year electric ride. You see this over here, though. That's a nice trailer. Which is still a panhead. Okay. Holy shit, man. The most modern. Well, but it's the last year, the only year with electric start. The most modern panhead you can buy. Probably original paint. Those trailers you gotta watch. They rust. Especially where we live. He's standing sure, motorcycles. Well, a lot of them. Yes, PA. Those Indian ones? I remember you had I've the heard of that one. South Jersey.
New York Bill. What's going on? How much? That's Hercules. Yeah, now if I could buy a bike, that would be it. I'd throw rocks at the repeat and buy this. <laughs> Beautiful. What a piece of art. I was oogling. delivered to the Zundap Fool. guess this is a single with two exhaust ports but I'm not sure MAGA racers MAGA racers for Trump right up by the marketplace Seven. I don't know how all of them. No, I don't recognize that. Except you want to supervise. First year with a boat tail. Took it someplace. He took it to that looks like his signature. 
Signed by Nixon and Springsteen, the two number nines. That's cool. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm pretty good. Hey, a reminder. Ah, really? One day I'm going to get an Indian four like that. Wow, but big money. Here's the tank for a Harley 125 SX. Beautiful tanks. cases did they, did they have mags in seven Jet. Yep. Uh, this is my friend Al Hartman's trailer. He always has something interesting. There he is sitting down. Hey, they, they take your credit card even before you get to walk into the place. So here. Hey, Art. This is an SX Sprint. SX would have an up, up pipe. It's got a optional bash plate. That's sort of neat. That looks like an SX 250 that someone made a down pipe. Changed the shocks, changed it over for whatever reason. It's pretty interesting.
34. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, this is a trials bike. With a trials side car. There's probably more people coming. But there's some spaces open. <laughs> well, it's the year for Italian Harleys, it looks like. desirable but an interesting piece of history you could get anything you wanted at Montgomery Wards even Winkle powered outboards they tried to do one up over Sears didn't quite make it I'm looking for my friend Ken from Ken's cycle service he's outside of Reading I don't know if he's here today but he always has good stuff Indian, like the one I'm restoring in my shop. Go ahead. An Indian in Springfield shut down in 54. Royal Enfield took him over, rebadged him, made some simple changes, and they were sold as Indians. Probably a 700 twin. It was something I wanted to look at to compare it to mine. This is early because they made subtle differences over the years. Oh, that's got a different tail light than mine. Well, we'll finish ours one day. 